Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. This iOS and iPadOS app is hot off the press, launching in August 2024, and helps provide professional looking screenshots that have been taken from all of your devices. It's called ShareShot and it has both a free and professional plan. And I'm gonna show you both. So firstly, of course, we're probably gonna need a quick reminder on how to take a screenshot. So on most modern iOS and iPadOS devices, click on the volume up and side button together. The screenshot appears and when you tap, this will allow you to annotate it as well as save it to a location of your choice. Now it doesn't matter where you save it, ShareShot can actually pick it up from pretty much anywhere, but the process is a little bit easier and sometimes automatic when you save it to your photos. Let's open up the app. Now, as said, there is a pro subscription available. And as I've taken this up already, when I tap to get a pro subscription, it's actually remembered my previous purchase and automatically unlocks it for me. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this into two distinct sections. So for the first piece, I'll show you what you can do with the free version, which is quite a lot. Then I'll add in the pro elements in the second half. So let's close this. And here we see the kind of homepage of the app. It's very simple. We can tap here to access the latest screenshots. And this looks for screenshots within your Photos app. And for that, of course, you need to grant permission to it. You can limit access to a subset of photos. You can allow full access or don't allow at all, which kind of negates this particular part of the feature. So I'm okay with full access here. And this has pulled up the latest screenshot that I've taken from the Photos app, which is, of course, the one that we took at the beginning of the video. If you take another one while the app is active, so let's come out. And I'm just going to quickly take a screenshot here. I'm not going to open it up to edit because it's going to sit in my photos anyway by default. And we can see that ShareShot has detected a new one has been taken. So do I want to replace the old one with this one? I will. And we can see the new one there. Now it said iPhone 14 Pro Max because it detected that's the phone that I'm using and has automatically added the relevant frame around the side. And you can see that I've got a nice background in here as well. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.